channel my name is Kiana and I'm back to do a braid out tutorial using one of my favorite products it is the Camille Rose Natural Almond Jai Twisting Butter if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do and if you do like this type of content please give it a thumbs up so now let's jump right into the video so first things first is a lot of my friends ask me Kiana how do you get your styles to be so defined and I can truly say it starts off what base that you put onto your hair after you wash it so for me with my type 4 natural colored hair it tends to be really dry and so for me my leave-in conditioner of choice is the Mish Beauty Lavish leave-in conditioner I could rave about this leave-in conditioner all day but I'm not going to spill the beans on this because I have the entire line I do want to make a video cater only around Mish Beauties but my leave-in of choice is this product is super moisturizing I'm using the twisting butter I'm almost finished with it I'm trying to finish it so I can put more products onto my shelf this thin butter is thick and i know once i do a braid out with this my braid out is going to be well defined shiny and it's going to be a good old week style so i also use a gel to seal in my moisture my gel of choice is my eco style black castor flaxseed oil it's bay. It's truly bay. And I always use a gel when I'm finishing my hair because I know I want my hair one to last long and two to be extra defined. And my oil of choice will definitely be my Mayo Organics Rose Ray Mint Strengthening Oil. It's like my go-to. So I put the leave-in conditioner already in the back. So I'm going to finish up the front on camera so you can see how I do. And my hair uses the LCO method. So if you don't know what the LCO method, that is a liquid cream oil. My liquid is my leave-in conditioner. My C is my cream, which will be the Camille Rose Twisting Butter. And then my O will be my oil, which will be the Maya Organics Rosemary Mint Oil. Some people do the LOC method, that's liquid oil cream. But I don't see the point in that when you put in the oil before the cream. I don't understand that. To each his own. <laughs> but if you do, that's on you. But see how juicy my twists are. This leave-in is so bomb. And I promise you, I'm going to do a wash day review on the entire line. Because this line is just so bomb. Meech Beauty is the truth. Okay. I am going to add in my cream start my braid out take out your twist in the back and some of the hair tools that I'm going to be using will be my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush as well as my fine tooth comb the reason why I'm using this is because I want my ends to be very smooth when you when I'm doing my braid out I don't want to be borrowing hair I don't want no knots because if you have knots or borrowed hair that will cause your twist out to become frizzy and we don't want that so these two tools right here smoothing and making sure there's no tangles and knots in my braid out so I start with the back and I want this to be pretty jumbo, so I'm just splitting that section into half. I'm just going to brush it through and add some of the cream. And I just want to make sure it's really coating every strand. You can just see the curl definition already popping. Don't be afraid to use a lot of product. You'll feel when you need more. So now I'm gonna add my gel. Just the right amount to make sure it's extra defined. And this gel doesn't give me a hard cast at all. It gives me more of a defined fluffy braid out, which I'm looking for. It's not a gel cast. So you could just see that. All right, so now I'm going to braid 
if you don't know how to braid you can twist this also works with twisting but I chose a braid out because I want my hair to be just a tad bit more stretched I've been braiding ever since I was younger so I just don't know how to explain how to braid you just do it get a doll <laughs> just try pretty sure there's other YouTube videos out there that can show you but yeah so when I get to the end it will look something like this and instead of me going all the way to the end I just coil it just like that and I add some oil I like to rub it all over it and then go down the strands and coil it again and that is my braid so we're gonna continue again I really do love this twist and butter it's so good it's so thick it's so moisturized and I already know that my braid out is going to come out bomb. and I wanted a stretch style so that is why I decided to do a braid out instead of a twist out and so again I'm using a Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai twist and butter I'm trying to get rid of products so I'm like oh I haven't used this in a long time like almost a year yeah it's a really good product this is my frizz prone area <laughs> so I have to add a little bit more product than usual because this part of my head be trifling So that is it it's fully braided so I decided to just put all the oil on at the end in because I just wanted to hurry up with this so I added two big drops of oil put it all through make sure my edges are moisturized Some oil on my scalp so I'm gonna air dry for a little bit do some cleaning around the house and then I'm going to switch over to my bonnet hooded dryer to finish off the process and when my hair is completely dry I'll be back with the final product so I am back I just unraveled my hair from some of the braids I'm gonna take these three out on camera so you can see exactly how I do it so first thing first, if you notice that your hair is a little bit dry, I would definitely say to add a little bit of oil onto your hands or all over, and then you can start the unraveling process. So what you do is you just look for where the curl ends. So you just go to the tip and you just unravel your coil and what you do, this, this is another reason why I like to coil my ends so I don't make a lot of frizz. And then I just unravel. If you do a good braid out, then you should be able to pull the braids apart with no issue. But a little bit of frizz doesn't really hurt anyone. So don't think just because it's frizzy that it's a thrown away hairstyle. Like, no. <laughs> The Twist and Jai is definitely one of my go-to stylers, so I really do love this stuff. It was in my stash and I totally forgot about it, I don't know why. Sometimes you just have to go back to your old school products <laughs> to get what you're looking for because these newer products, um, I don't know. Definitely the Melanin Hair Care Twisted Elongating Cream, it could not have gave me this much definition. Hey, 
right, so these are the final results. Oh, always got a braid hidden somewhere, <laughs> no matter what. That's another reason why you need to go back and check because your braids will be hidden. All right, so that is the final braid. So people like to go outside looking like this. I really don't. So I am going to pull the hair apart just a little bit so I get more volume. But yes, you could just see the definition I got from my braid out. The gel and the cream work really good. So, oh, and also the leave-in. <laughs> so now we're going to get some more volume. So when you're doing this, you want to pull it where it naturally separates that. So you could just see when I touch that, the hair just pulled apart. And you don't want to pull it apart too much because you want your style to last all week. So let me just continue now. It's my looser texture and it frizz up the most so it frizzes up the most i don't want to pull it too much because i want my bangs to be defined but this is almost done so then now you can pick it out for a little bit more volume and you get your roots only mainly the back because that's where you have your lines at from the parts so you just want to cover those up My signature I use my bobby pen to separate my part so a little twist action here this is my go-to if you see me in the street I will always have something like this <laughs> So this is the finished product, guys. I didn't have to fluff too much because again, this is like a fluffy braid out and the gel does not leave a hard cast in my hair. I don't understand how people use equal style and they're like, oh my God, it just makes your hair hard. It makes my hair 10 times soft. So yeah, this is it. Definitely will say the Almond Jai Twist butter from Camille Rose is definitely one of my staples. I am so sad that it's almost done, but I will be buying some more. You can find this at your local Sally's, Walmart, Target, and I will leave the price in the description box. But yeah, I am ready to go out. It's so cute, guys. Do you see the definition? This is going to last me all week. It looks so good. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like the results because I know I do. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. You are alerted every single time I post a new video. Until next time, see you later, guys.